They perform uh, showcases all around Baltimore. Uh, put your hands together for AB Positive! Kiss him on the forehead. Yeah, I resisted the kissing on the forehead. Part, but yeah, maybe. Uh, had, did, has anybody realized yet that it's election season? Mm. Anybody excited? Anybody not excited? I got one reaction for not excited. No reactions for excited. And everybody else is just like, I want to take a nap. Well, mm -hmm. question. The former uh, 91 times charged, twice impeached former president keeps asking us, are you better four years ago? Or are you better today than you were four years ago? So let's think about this. Does anybody remember what happened four years ago this week? COVID lockdown. Yep, that was four years ago this week. I was in disbelief. I didn't believe it. I was like, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Because, like, Italy, like, just totally shut their borders. And, like, like one case was in Maryland. And it was like, okay, this is the end of the world. We got to close it down. It happened right before St. Patrick's Day. I'm like, there's absolutely no way the city or the state is going to shut down before St. Patrick's Day because, you know, tax revenue. I was wrong. So I think about all, I think, I, I've been thinking this week a lot about that period of time. It's all going to be over by Easter. It's all going to be over by Easter. Like 14 days. And this is dark. <laughs> uh, I remember like on the second day of lockdown, uh, I'm single, I live alone, alone. I had uh, my dogs with me, and like, you know, when you, like a lot of people during lockdown said, hey, you know, uh, you know, everybody's having to work from home, now I have to get to know my husband. <laughs> or, why are my kids screaming? I have to try to teach them while I'm also taking meetings on Zoom. I get it. I had a different problem, I was just at home by myself. I work from home, so it's like stand up after work and walk five feet to the couch and sit down. Very, very traumatic. Mm. I had the worst experience. Mm. Nobody else had the worst thing. It's all going to be over by Easter. <laughs> On the second day of lockdown, thinking this is all going to be done soon, by Easter, I took a run. anybody hasn't noticed, I'm not, ex I'm not extremely athletic. Uh, I don't run. I didn't run before that day. And I thought, you know, aspirationally, this could be a new lifestyle since I can't do anything except go to the grocery store and exercise. So I took a run, two miles, Patterson Park. It's great. Never did it again. <laughs> By day 11, I had realized there were 753 holes in my colander, because I counted all of them. It took a long time. I had to start over a few times. But you know, like, the thing that really got me was the social distancing part, because, you know, I have dogs. I have to get them walked. They need to do their thing. Can't happen in the house. And I would take them for a walk, and you know, they said six feet apart, a meter in Europe. And, uh, and I'd be walking down the street, and I'd be like, yeah, I'm breathing fresh air. And then there would be some person standing in the middle of the sidewalk, staring at their phone, texting somebody, blocking the way, and I'm like, lady, move! I am not getting coronavirus from you, and you are in my way. Can you move aside six feet one way or the other? Thank you very much. 
And uh, and so yeah, I mean, it's a little traumatic to remember some of those uh, those old days of COVID and lockdown. I remember. I know I have my time here, but I remember like when we started opening back up in Baltimore City. Say, this was a smart idea. Uh, we're going to open up to 50%, but you can only stay in the bar for an hour at a time, and you have to sign in. So, you know, Baltimore, we're a smart group of people. We started saying, okay, sign in, sit for an hour, take a bunch of shots, drink a bunch of beers, sorry, got to go, walk out the door, walk right back in, sign the paper, order another round. Thank you, that's my uh, time, appreciate you, have a good night.